Good morning, class. It is pop quiz time. And if you did not study, well, I'm terribly sorry, but I've locked the doors already and I've barred the windows. The only way to get out of this video, therefore, is to apply your number two pencil and check the appropriate box or use your mouse. I have here a variable speed, 120 volt alternating current, two phase drill motor. At its maximum speed, it'll go 2,500 revolutions per minute. It consumes 4.5 amps. That's what it's rated at. So if we wanted to calculate how many watts we can expect this device to consume, we can use Ohm's law, which is not very accurate, but it puts us in the ballpark figure. And we can calculate that this device consumes 540 watts. If we want to calculate the power coming out of this device, which is an electric motor, we can attach to the device chuck a dynamometer, a dynamometer, and calculate the torque, and then, or measure the torque, and then make a calculation, and come up with watts, or if we want um, watts over time, we can calculate joules. Pretty straightforward. We measure, we can even measure the power going in, and then we can measure the power going out. And if you divide the power out over the power in and then multiply it by 100, you get the percentage of efficiency for a device. This device, the output is rated at a half horsepower. The input is uh, a little bit less than three quarters of a horsepower. So the efficiency is about 75%. Now comes the pop quiz portion. Suppose you have a drill motor that consumes 250 watts. You perform the measurement and then a calculation and you discover that the output for this device is 0 0.31 watts. That is 31 hundredths of a watt. Which do you think of the following scenarios is the most likely? Scenario A, you performed the measurement of the power out incorrectly, or the calculation of the power out incorrectly, or both. Scenario B, your drill motor is on fire and you're too goddamn stupid to notice. Check A or B, please. So, the papers have been graded and almost everybody checked box A. Uh, even Stone Commander checked box A. Way to go, Stone Commander. Uh, raving conservative out there, Daniel Levesque checked box B, but... Nobody expects Daniel to get the answer to anything correctly. If your calculations are correct and your drill motor really is 0.124% energy efficient, I suggest to you it is either on fire or it is making one hell of a lot of noise. This morning I came across a YouTube video, apparently by Herman Wilt, wherein he claimed he actually made a calculation based upon measurements of his drill motor, where he discovered that his drill motor's efficiency is 0 0.124. But then this genius also claims that there is, quote, power inherent in permanent magnets, unquote. Which, of course, is... Wrong. Wrong. Suppose your drill motor really is that inefficient with energy. Where is the missing energy going? If it's an electric motor, it's probably going away through heat. Well, that is through friction. And some of it will be going through noise, which is also friction through the air. It stands to reason, therefore, that there's something fucking fundamentally fucking wrong with a fucking drill motor. Or one's measurements or calculations are incorrect. 
You know, standard industry motors, the electric motors, single speed, they're super efficient uh, depending on design and rated horsepower. The higher the horsepower, the more efficient they can be. Like a, a one horsepower electric motor, one speed, you can expect a efficiency of 75% or 79%. A high horsepower electric motor, you, uh, 120 horsepower or more, you can expect 92% efficiency. The hilarious portion of this Wilt Clowns video is he is claiming that his highly efficient electric motor, which he calls the Wilt Magnet Motor, is, and I quote, 37.8% energy efficient. Fucking hilarious. Just a fucking riot. General Electric makes a uh, electric motor three times more efficient than this clown's. And he's just too ignorant and stupid and uneducated or greedy enough to know that he's full of shit. 